Hey, this is Ihab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an image that has alpha channel and how to import it into an Unreal setup and also how to activate the opacity on it in order for me to use it, especially on projects such as digital matte painting. So I'm going to start from super scratch, control N as in new, and then select basic and then create. So here's the setup that I have. Next, what I want to do is to import a um, import the image, but before that, I would need to create the plate or the basic shape for it, which is going to be a plane. So if I want to create plane um, or planes, the uh, way to do that would be by going here into the content. So typically, you would see the content like this. This is the starter pack. So I would unfold the starter pack and then I'm gonna go into the shapes and then you can choose the shape that you like here if you wanna scale down the view here I'm gonna click and hold control and then scroll down with the mouse another way you can do this is by going here and then you click on shapes and then you can find the basic shapes that you like so here is a plane So I'm going to scale this up, click R on the keyboard, and then here is the scaling. Hit E to go into the rotation. So it's not perfectly rotated. Now it's good. Okay. And by the way, if you want to change the snapping amounts, if it's kind of difficult the way it is, then you can change that from these snapping tools here. Or you can just type in the number that you like for the orientation or rotation of that plane. So here I have on the Y, I have the 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to scale it up again. I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to introduce you to a very useful shortcut. And that's going to be shift and end. Once you click that combination it's going to drop the shape that you have selected on the closest ground so um, now that I have it this way let's say this is good enough maybe this floor is too big so this is the carrier of the back plate that I want so normally you can just import whatever image you like and then you can change the scale of it the scale of the plane to match the resolution or the aspect ratio of the image but what I like to do is to change the image to be square before I even import it this way I can easily import it on top of a square plane so you can see here this is the image that I would like to import and I'm gonna export it as a TIFF or PNG that has opacity so what I need to do is to go here into the materials and I'm gonna drop the image right here. So this is the image that I would like to import. So I'm gonna drag and drop in here. And here is the image and I can see here in black the alpha channel. So what I want to do is to apply it on this plane. So simply drag and drop and there it is. The orientation is incorrect. So I'm gonna correct that. And there it is. So it's kind of strange the way it looks and that's because even though it does have alpha channel the way that is applied by default to the material is opaque so the solution would be very simple I would double click on the material and then in the options here uh, I just want to make uh, one quick um, identification here this is the node for the image and this is the node for the material so my goal is to go into the material and change it from opaque into alpha composite and once I do that you will notice here that I still don't have opacity but I somehow ended up having the opacity to be really really matte and the reason for that is because I just need to do one more thing and that is 
taking the alpha information and plug it into the opacity and with that now I have that opacity make sure you click save because it doesn't automatically update you would always have to click on save so you can see here this is what the image now looks like and next up I'm gonna show you how to use the quixel bridge